What's up, Herminators? Hermes here. Today I'll be showing you guys Purple Drinks and Fire Bats Max Shaman deck. The reason why I'm showing you guys this Shaman deck is because they got to Legend Rank within a couple of days since the season started, which is insane and extremely fast as well. And nobody would have thought that a Max Shaman would achieve Legend that fast. And, and as we all know, Shamans are criticized to be sort of a low tier class to be climbing the ladder, but this truly showed everybody wrong. Let's, so let's go into the cards and let's see what makes this deck so damn special. This Mech Shaman is a really special deck. The reason why I say that is because this deck plays exactly like Zoo, putting up early board pressure and board control in order to widow down the opponents until they drop low enough so we can finish them off with either the mechs on board or with our spells. First, you guys look at this and you go like, why aren't you playing Lightning Storm or Feral Spirits, right? The reason why we don't play those cards is because of the overload. The huge amount of overload that those cards provide weakens the deck. The reason why it weakens the deck is because the Overload refrains us from pushing out our mechs at a faster pace and gaining early board control. And since our mechs can achieve such good early board control and doing efficient trades at the same time, we don't really need Lightning Strike for this deck, and you'll see why in the gameplay videos. So let's talk about some of the core cards in this deck. So we play Cogmaster because we have a lot of mechs and synergizes pretty well with it. So it literally we can consider this as a 1 drop for 3-2. We really want to mulligan this card as our opening hand as well. Crackle and Lava Burst are similar to Mech Mage's Frostbolt and Fireball, so we either use it for efficient trading to create a tempo play, or we can use it to, at the face to push for lethal. We have Mech Warpers here to push our mechs at a faster pace, which is really good for us because we really need that early board control in order to win the game. Then Ton Totem is used to do efficient trades and also to push for damage, which is really good in this deck because we really need the board control. Wheelwork Exemplomatic is the best mech card in any Shaman deck. The reason why I say that is because it's a huge threat for a 2 drop, because we can combine it with Rock Biter, Power Maze, and also Flame Tongue Totem to do tons of damage with it. And even if our opponents remove as quickly as possible, at least we are burning their spells. Power Mace is really good. Since we have a lot of mechs in this deck and we need a lot of board control, Tinker Town Technician is really good when we have a lot of mechs. We only run one copy is because sometimes it's a dead card if we don't have a mech on the board. So I don't have Doomhammer so I replaced it with Lothep and I think Lothep is sort of a better substitution in my opinion because we need really good board control and we can't really get wiped out by something like a Flame Strike. so Lothep really secures the win and also gives us the board control that we need. And Doomhammer does give us board control as well because it does remove tons of minions with this Wind Fairy attack. But it does not give us the protection that we need like Lothab does, so it could be a better substitution, but it's all in preference, so it's up to you guys to make the substitutions. The Black Knight is really good in the current meta right now because there's a lot of ramp druids or any type of druids out there, and I know a lot of classes play a lot of taunts as well. This deck is really prone to taunts is because we can't afford to waste damage onto those taunts, so we need to instantly destroy those taunts with the Black Knight. Dr. Boom needs to stay as OP as shit, it's literally a 7 draw for 9-9 because of Dr. Boom spawning 2 boom bots that are 1-1, so you can literally consider this as a 7 draw for 9-9, and the boom bots does a tons of damage as well, and let's not forget there's their mechs too, so you can synergize them with like Power Maze, Tinkertown Technician, and also Cogmaster. So this is a deck, I'm going to show you guys how OP this deck actually is, and it's actually really damn fun to play because of Whirling Simplematic, because look at that card, it's Wind Fury, and let's say you, they don't remove it and you can pull it off, buff it up, just smash your opponent's face with it, and it just feels just so satisfying. And I'm going to show you guys later on my gameplay videos, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, it will really help me out, and I love discussing decks to, with you guys on the comments below, even if you don't like the deck, I would still love to talk to you about it, because it's really interesting and I find it a tons of fun. So I see you guys on the gameplay videos and stay gold, Herminators. Oh, I'm playing against a magic card. That is always interesting about playing against a magic card. So we're gonna put back that Zerg Drake. We don't really need a big five drop. We want as much small drops, little drops as possible. Like little guys as possible, so we're just gonna keep the cockmaster no try. Play this in turn one, play this in turn two, just potential making this a one drop with three two. Oh, another Noitron. I don't know how good that is, but looks pretty good. Oh, we have a power mace. I thought that's really good. So we're on curve now. We have a one drop, two drop, and three drop. It's pretty nice. Hello. 
I'm not I'm not going to attack this. I'm gonna let him attack into it. Is because if I'm gonna use this to attack, he's, he's he can easily ping it, and gives him the advantage. Gives him tons of value and not me. Well, to be honest, this guy really needs to hurry the fuck up. While magic carps are slow, hmm. well, at least from the game, but they do turn into Gyarados. Maybe this guy would turn to Legend this season. Ha ha ha. Of course you frostbolt it. I wouldn't shoot frostbolt this shit. Next turn, if we really want to do some damage, we can just flame tongue totem or Anoitron with our another Anoitron, which which we have two three twos on the on the board, and we're gonna probably potentially gonna buff one of these Anoitrons anyways. He's scared of me. This guy's scared of my weapon. My three. My power mace. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, this is probably gonna be a mirror entity, but I know what to give him. I'm, I'm gonna give him this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. How do you feel? Flame Tongue Totem is perfect for Mirror Entity. Perfect. I think Lothab is really good here. It doesn't get frozen, right? Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. Hit him for five. Oh. oh, did I win? Did I really win? Oh man. Ooh. This is going to be a pretty hard matchup. I never really like playing against Druids. Too many taunts, and I don't really have enough damage to take care of them either. If I have Doomhammer, this would be a pretty good matchup, but I don't have it. Unfortunately. I have Lothep. The Lothab. Probably not going to coin in the Whirling Supplematic. I'm pretty sure this guy can just will be yeah. See, you see the Zombie Chow? The Zombie Chow is, is such a huge combo. Coin in, Spider Tank, into Tinkertown Technician if he doesn't kill it. Whoa. Calm down there. Calm down. He's probably gonna hit me in the face with the zombie channel and then ping in, I guess. Yeah. Yeti, please? No, Yeti. There's a chance that he might silence this. Silencing this is actually pretty good, I guess. But not really, really good, but it could be really good. But of course. But of course. Something needs tinkering? Let's see what we get. Okay. Stealth this, just so he doesn't kill it or raff it or anything like that. If he raffs it, then I'll probably be really behind. Next turn, I could just play Fire Elemental, do efficient trades, anything he puts up that's pretty big, like this shit right here. matter which one I trade into. Like I could I could trade in with a spider tank just because it has lower health. But this is actually worth it right now actually. I wouldn't mind that. Face face face. Yes. But anyways yeah yeah so my spider tank eh, I could trade in with either one. Both are gonna die to swipe if he decides to swipe anyway so it doesn't really matter. 
Face, 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 face. Fuck, dude. Piece of shit. I'll play this to make him react to it. I don't know what he's gonna do. Probably swipe. Swipe this and then ping, probably. I must safeguard the last. Alright, yes, I know. Oh man, I hate your roots. Put up so much shit on the boy. That's not even funny. I see. Oh, this game, yo! This game! This horrifying game! I must safeguard the land. Welcome back guys, so so we really want as much early board control as possible, we're playing this deck similar to Zoo, right? So we do want a really strong early curve, and we have to understand that Paladin is sort of a bad matchup as well. The reason for that is because they have a really good clear, they have a quality Consecrate combo which is devastating for this deck, but let's just hope he doesn't have it, like he doesn't have it at the right mo moments at the right time. We might want to play around that and sort of bait it out, and like push enough pressure so that, that we'll bait out Consecrate out. We'll, we'll play this first. Reporting for duty. No biggie, just a one draw. Oh god. The reason why I'm not playing out the Whirling Diplomatic yet because I think this is a pretty strong card that we need to push for damage, and I want to bait out Equal like Consecrate before I play the Whirling Diplomatic. At least I guarantee that it's safe. Then I'll play with Whirling Diplomatic. Holy shit! This guy is being very mad right now. Oh, he's not gonna attack into it. Oh my god, power mace. I think we just hit face here. If he wants to consecrate this, I'm quite okay with it. It's not actually that bad. At least I don't think it's that bad. Oh, he doesn't have it. Yeah, this really shows he doesn't have it, so that's pretty good. Oh, but they only do one damage. That's the sad part. Oh, he's gonna hit face. You ballsy man, you gotta hit face. The question here is how how would I play this out? I'm not sure if he has Consecrate, he could be saving for it, I'm not sure. But if he does, then I'm pretty screwed. Let's just hope he doesn't. Okay, this is not bad. I think I'm just gonna total him up. I just want to do efficient trades here. Just in case he consecrates. Cause because in this turn he can either consecrate or he can do trades like these two. Like trade here and here. Yeah, so he does have one in his hand. So right now he has to figure out a way to get rid of this, but apparently he's not. Because he doesn't have enough damage. Oh, okay, so we have a turn 7 play, which is pretty good for us. Taunt totem, please. Oh, that's, that is a very good card. 
that the healing totem is a really good card. No, no, the healing totem is a good totem. Heals up my shit. Let's just hope he doesn't have another consecrate. If you have another consecrate, I might be screwed right here. But yeah, we're pretty. We're, but yeah, we're keeping up with a pretty good board control right here and right now. I wonder. Holy macros! Yo, yo, mercy, dude. For duty. Mercy, senpai. Oh, this got hurt. Oh, dude. So we have we have the Black Knight for Tyrion, which is pretty good. At least we have something to stop Tyrion, right? So most likely he's gonna he's gonna strike down the flame tongue totem. I'm okay with that. I'm only using this for efficient trades. Let's just hope this is a taunt. Okay, it's not a taunt. And the heal is pretty good because he can't get rid of this with the true silver champion. He used a consecrate. I doubt he has another one, and he needs a equality to right wipe up this board entirely. But I think he's just gonna use equality here. Oh, okay, well, I must have a I think he made a mistake. Yeah, he made a mistake. He used true silver. If you made it this far, it means you love my videos. Why not click another link and watch some more? Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it will really help me out. And best of all, thanks for watching, guys.